Sudan has been rocked by weeks of protests. Every day, thousands have taken to the streets, calling on President Omar al-Bashir to step down. Now, Sudan is no stranger to turmoil. The East African nation has seen two revolutions, the breakaway of its southern region and the rebel uprising since independence in 1956. In 2013, and again just last year, Sudanese filled the streets to protest the military rule of a man who has governed for 29 years. On both occasions, they were quickly stifled by violence. But these latest protests, which have grown daily since mid-December, don't seem to be slowing down. It started over shortages of bread, medicine, cash and fuel. But now the protests have swelled into a nationwide grassroots movement. 37 demonstrators were killed in the first five days, and since then, thousands have been arrested. But the crackdown hasn't deterred those marching for change. Rich and poor, urban and rural, the crowds echo those that toppled one of Bashir's predecessors, Gafar Namiri, in 1985. Bashir's next move is unclear. After almost three decades in power, few expect him to resign. But with protests growing in number and energy every day, the aging president might just be running out of options.